The battle continues, entering its second week. In the midst of it all, threats issued by terror group Al-Shabaab of possible retaliation on Kenyan soil. The most vulnerable and most likely to be targeted, high population density areas such as shopping malls, tall buildings, hotels, name it. However, today's incidents, though not directly linked to the Al-Shabaab, shed light on the need to be vigilant as the assailant may strike in the most unlikely of places. And so comes this plea from the security Caesars. This is the time for us to stand up to be counted. As Kenyans, we need to show patriotism. All of us, I think we are going to succeed. Coming with this, a call for the vigilance. Kenyans are advised to be alert. A spot check on some hotels and supermarkets showed increased police presence, with those visiting the area going through thorough screening. This, according to the police, should be the standard operating procedure. Can they have also some form of security checks on the people who are entering there? It is important to make sure that each luggage is accompanied by its owner. Don't allow people to come into a bar or into a hotel or into a mall and abandon luggages and pretend to be doing something else. Police are calling on the public to be wary of suspicious activity or persons in the areas where they live and at bars, shopping malls, hotels, cottages, among others. Even as they consider starting what they deem as a massive public sensitization campaign, the police have now launched a toll-free SMS line. Anybody wishing to report activity they view as suspicious can send an SMS to one zero eight meanwhile the police have arrested 27 suspected al-shabaab militants in garissa nakuru and kisumu this in line with the directive to conduct soups to weed out illegal elements in parts of the country suspected to be hideouts for al-shabaab sympathizers that include but are not limited to slum areas one that a section of somali members of parliament sought to back while calling for sobriety in the terror war Watu binafsi na ni al-shabab. Watu wote wakamkunji na hasa wa isli wanaunga mkono kikamilifu hatua ilio chukuliwa na serikali yetu. We will deal with them as a government, as a country, as a people. And the Somali people of Kenya will stand by their government. The public is advised to cooperate with police officers who have been deployed in major installations. Stand up and be counted. That is the clarion call from security agencies to the Kenyan people, even as they continue with their military offensive in Somalia. That lays with the promise that they will continue to protect them within their borders. Willis Raburu, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.